Are you making a move to Northern Virginia in Prince William County? Is that the top of your list? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the top three things I think you should consider before making the move to Prince William County. The very first thing to consider is going to be where's your location of work. If you need to commute into work, there are definitely some things that you should consider. Prince William County is unique with its easy access to Route 95. So within the county, it's gonna span from Woodbridge down to Quantico. But if you need to travel down to say Fredericksburg or Richmond, you're gonna have that easy access. And then if you need to travel north, you can get into DC or Maryland pretty quickly. Additionally, Prince William County is also very popular for military families in that you can get to Quantico or Fort Belvoir very, very quickly on 95 as well. So that covers the west side of the county, but what about the east side of the county? So instead of 95, you're gonna have Route 66, and that's gonna provide you access into Fairfax County, Arlington, and DC. Some options to live there are going to be Haymarket, Gainesville, Bristow, Manassas, but then there's also some other options that will bring you a little further outside of 66, so that'll add to your commute. The second thing to consider before making the move to Prince William County is going to be your affordability or your budget. So Prince William County is unique in the fact that it has a lower average sales price than homes that you're gonna see in Fairfax County, Arlington, or Loudoun County. And that really opens up some doors and for options for people that wanna move into Northern Virginia but are also budget conscious. So if you need to stick to the eastern side of the county, a good rule of thumb is going to be the newer the home, the more expensive it's gonna be. Neighborhoods like Potomac Shores is a brand new construction community that is actually still getting built and you're going to see those single family homes range between $800,000 to $900,000 in the resale market. But if you want to stick a little bit below that budget, you can find some homes in Woodbridge that start around the $400,000 mark and that's for single family homes. But jumping over to the other side of the county, if you want to stick along 66, there are some gated communities in Haymarket and Gainesville that easily can eclipse that million dollar mark for some of those single family homes on 5,000, 6,000 square feet on half acre lots. But if you wanna be more budget conscious again, you can get into Manassas or surrounding areas where the average single family home might start around $400,000, $500,000. So overall, the average home sold in Prince William County in 2022 was at $660,000. But if you compare that to some of the other counties like Loudoun at $1 million or Arlington County at $1.3 million in 2022, Prince William does provide that affordable option that people might need. Our third and final thing to consider before making the move to Prince William County is going to be what do you like to do for fun or what are your leisure activities, your hobbies, that kind of thing. You've got to love where you live, so I always recommend being around those type of activities that bring you the most joy. So you can look at homes in Haymarket or Gainesville if you want to be close to outdoor hiking trails or wineries and breweries around this area. If you want to look at homes in Occoquan, you're going to have a great downtown historic district with some shopping, some restaurants. Also, that's going to be some awesome river access if you're looking to take your boat maybe out into the Potomac River for a day trip or even all the way up north the Potomac River. You can hit up Washington, D.C., Georgetown Waterfront and all those restaurants. Living in Woodbridge or around Woodbridge is gonna provide some of the best affordable housing options in all of Northern Virginia. But that also comes with some great access to 95. So if you wanna get out and see the Washington Nationals play in DC, or even all the way up to Landover, Maryland to see the Commanders play, that might be an option for you. Outside of everything that I just mentioned, there's also some great shopping at Potomac Mills. There's Jiffy Lube Live. It's an outdoor music venue that brings some of the biggest names in the industry there, awesome concerts. And then there's also the historic battlefields that are great for a visit. So if you couldn't tell, Prince William County has a ton of different options for things to do and you're surely gonna find something. The biggest piece of advice that I can give you is to loop in a realtor before you start your home search. This is gonna be one of the biggest decisions of your life and there's a ton of information to go through it and we're here to help guide you. We not only consider ourselves local experts in the real estate market, but just local experts here in general. I'm Stephen Ellis with Ellis Properties. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for all the great places to live and things to do here in Northern Virginia.